All right. Hello. 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 Yes. How are you, my friend? You are trying to call me, right? Yes. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. What do you want to say to us, Mr. Muhammad? Why are you trying to defame Islam? I'm not trying to Islam defend itself. You know, as you see, Islam is, a, is, is, is saying bad things about Islam. What I can do? Why Why does it matter to you? It, we beat our wife. Why do you care about that? You go and protect your woman. Why do you teach us? Because, because Quran, what we should because, not do? Okay, I'll tell you why we care. First of all, we care for your wife not to get beaten by you. Secondly, we no, care. No, we, we don't beat them. We don't beat them. So you're, you don't follow the Prophet? My prophet does not use to beat wives. What if I show you Muhammad? Hello. He did beat Aisha. Muhammad did. Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam never beat Aisha. This is who told you that he beat Aisha. If I show it to you right away and right now, what you will do? You cannot. You will make fake hadith. You uh, cannot show it. I will. I will. I will now I will put. I will put the hadith inside your book. You think I can do that? You think I can do that? You think now, right now, I can take, a, mm -hmm. I can fabricate a hadith and put it inside your book? Do you really believe in that? No, I don't. Okay, so why you are saying to me that uh, you, okay. are, you, know, you are going Show to fabricate me where, hadith? Where he says that? Where he says? Where he? Where our prophet be the Hazrat Isa? All right. Good. See, we don't care what you believe. Why do you want us to lose our faith? That is what I my have friend, my, my friend. With. I will show you. I will show. You. Secondly, your prophet he called us all kind of names. He said we are liars. We are the worst of the creatures. We are corrupting the book. We are the the. We are going to go to hell. We are pigs. We are monkeys. So why you are saying we have no right to answer him? Who gave him the right to call us all those those kind of names? But yet we don't have the right to even defend ourselves oh. according to you. Is that fair? Yes, because Allah is saying so. Ah, okay. I, I, Allah said that to me. So here we go. Allah told me to go and expose Muhammad. So you are being hypocrite now. You are saying to me that he can do that. We cannot do that. No, we can. And here we go. This is the hadith in the front of you. This is the hadith. You, my friend, my if, friend, my friend. Really this, is this is the hadith. This is the hadith. Hold on. This is the hadith. This is the hadith in the front of you. Your prophet, he did beat Aisha. What you can do about it? Wait, where is it? Here we go. This is the hadith. This is Sahih hadith. Sunan and Nisa'i. Hadith number 3963. Your prophet, he did beat Aisha. And are you saying to me, your prophet, he taught you in the Quran to beat women, but he don't want to do it because he knew it's bad. So are you saying to me that Muhammad is a good guy, but yet his God, he said to him, beat women? Mute, my friend, I, mute, mute, I, mute the sound I, in, uh, in uh, YouTube no, so we don't have an echo. I am not a scholar. If hmm. you want to debate, why hmm. don't you go and debate to Dr. Zakir Naik? Why do you keep making videos like this? Brother, why, brother, don't, why you don't call Zakir Naik and ask him to call me right now? Who said I don't want to debate him? I offer him to debate. He said to me, bring 2,000 people to debate him. So you cannot arrange 2,000 people? No, I cannot. I cannot pay for their ticket to go all the way to Bangladesh, my friend. Can you? First of all, you hide and why, your and why I need why I need to fly all the way there to debate him. Why he don't debate me right now? As you calling me, it costs nothing. It's a Skype. It's free. It's just it's just an excuse. You Muslims, you make an excuse. What's your name? Why you hide your ID? You just ask me that, right? Your prophet he ran away. Your prophet he ran away to the king of Ethiopia. He hide his ID. He he sit inside a tent. He he don't want to tell even what his his real name. Was your prophet a coward? You're a prophet, he run all the way and he take asylum with the Jews. Asylum with the Christians. I don't know what you are saying, what you are doing. But my one friend, my friend, you are running away from answering. So why your, you're a prophet, why, why, you're, why you're a prophet, why you're a prophet? He says hmm. stupid things. This is the question. Don't waste my time. What kind of a prophet he teaches stupid things? If you call me to prove to me Islam is, a good, is, is from God, the true God, go ahead. Tell me, I'm listening. Here we go, yes, guys. But bro, our prophet, beloved prophet, never beat Hazrat Aisha. Never what? 
He never beat Hazrat Aisha. That is false accusations which you are making. My friend, it's, it's not me who is saying that. It says here we go. قالت نعم قالت قالت فلا هدني لهدة في صدري أو جعتني. So he hit me very hard hit in my chest. It hurt me. So what we will do now? The the explanation about this is given by Doctor Zakir Naik. It is there on YouTube. The brother Zakir Naik, they ask him why God he did not offer versions for male version for the female. He offered them only for the female. Uh, he, this he said, brother Tatar, that the word hur, the word hur in the Quran, brother, it does not mean uh, it's a plural name. It does not mean male or female. That's stupid. The Quran confirmed that they are male. So your your Zakir Naik is not a scholar. He's an idiot. How he say that the word Hur is a male and female? But he has converted so many Christians to he Islam. He convert yes. nobody. The, you know, he, uh, he my friend, converted. all all of this is a theater. Those people already are Muslims, and they bring them to him to make a show to get donation. He converted no one, and he cannot debate no one. He is a potato. If he is a man, why you don't call him right now and says? Hey, Zachary Naik, there's a guy. His name is a Christian prince. He claimed that you are a potato, and you don't dare to debate him. And look who called me. The, the one who called me is someone who cannot explain anything in Islam. What is the scholars? Why you don't call the scholars right now and say, why you don't call this guy alive right now and get him busted? What about I will you bring call? A scholar. What, will you debate him if I bring a scholar? My, my friend, <laughs> why, you don't do your, your, why you don't do your part? And do me a favor and do yourself a favor and let everybody watch. Call okay. a scholar you trust. Tell him, okay. can when you please call this time? guy and show him that he is wrong? When you will be online next? I am always online. I am I am online more than Allah. Allah Himself, He never been online. Jibreel never been online. Muhammad, He never saw anyone. There's no witnesses so for anything. My friend, my friend, can and you, you tell me? You so you, much money. You are not working. You, you are a Muslim, my friend. My fr don't talk about money. Don't talk about money. Your prophet, He said yes. that don't speak to me unless you pay me first. Is that correct? What? You're a prophet in the Quran. He made verses for him saying, don't ever spoke to me in a private unless you pay me first. I don't charge people to talk to me. Did you pay me to call me? No. Okay. So why are you accusing me? I'm making money. It's your prophet no. who make money. You listen, listen. Here we go. This is the Quran. This is the Quran. What kind of a prophet? You are the one who spoke about money. What kind of a prophet? He says, I'm not going to talk to you unless you pay me first. Chapter 58. Abdul, chapter 58, verse number 12. What kind of a prophet says, if you want to speak to me in a private consultation, you have to pay me first? It is all about Iman. What so Iman? You, what, uh, about Iman? It, Iman means, Iman, the word Iman means faith. Why I need to pay Muhammad in order to consult with him? Explain to me. No, it is to, to test the faith. Whether a Muslim after reading this kind of my friend, what faith have to do with money? What see, faith have to do with money? I, Why I need to see. pay the prophet? Why I need to pay the prophet for speaking to him? What faith had to do with money? Explain to me. Oh, who you believe when you consult the messenger in private? Send something in a charity before your private consultation. Did you send me anything to private consultation with me? No. Did I charge you? I, no. So you're a I, prophet. I, you're a prophet is making money from a. He's making a business. Even Muhammad, he made a verse saying the fifth from every attack to my pocket. Muhammad, he made verses saying any Muslim woman. How you explain to me this? Listen, the prophet said any Muslim woman, she can give herself to the prophet so he can if her. Is that a prophet of God talking or is this is God talking? See, he it is. Quran is just a test for humanity. It is if you keep faith. Absolutely, I agree you with you. It's test. a test. It's a test from the devil. It says test from the devil. If you fail into it, you are going to go to hell. But you cannot answer what kind of a God. He said to Muhammad, any woman she want to give her vagina to you so you can effort. This is God talking? No, he does not say it like that. It says like that. He will go in the front of me. It's in the front of my eyes, my friend. What are you talking about? It's in the front Where? of my eyes. يا أيها النبي إن أحلنا لك أزواجك التي أتيت أجرهن وما ملكت أيمان وامرأة مؤمنة وهبت نفسها للنبي and any believing woman she gave herself to the prophet to if her chapter three thirty three verse number fifty so if anybody wants to go then he is not bringing her by force 
My friend, no, no, he did it bring them by force. No, he did. He did. Those are believers. Yeah. And Muhammad, he made them believe that it's a holy duty to take off your panty and sleep with the Prophet. He made them. He forced them because Allah is talking. If Allah is talking, if Allah is talking, if Allah is talking and saying to you, any believing woman, she can give her vagina to the Prophet. And why Allah is saying that? Muhammad, he have already many wives. Why he need more women to sleep with them and to have sex with them? <coughs> no, see, listen, he does not. You let me answer first, then you start speaking. Go ahead. He is he does not need many wives. All his wives are widows, see, except for Hatrat Aisa. Do you did you notice that? Yeah, I noticed. Has, I noticed that he yeah. has always ma married divorced women. So it is to give give refuge to those women. And this my friend, verse is my saying friend, that my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend, just to show you how ignorant. Just to show you how ignorant you are, those women they have a tribe, they have family, and even they are daughters of important men. When Muhammad he married from the daughters of his companions, those are not orphan and they do not need bread and food, they are rich people. When Muhammad he married from Safiya, he kidnapped her from her husband, he killed the man, he killed the husband. She was she was a bride, she just got married. So don't lie to us and say he was doing charity. You can do charity to a woman without sleeping with her. If a woman she need help, you help her. You don't go and have sex with her. You're a prophet doing charity to no one. Name for me one woman Muhammad was doing a charity when he married her. Go ahead. I am telling you. Name for me. Name for me one woman. You see, when you say something, you have to prove it. Name for me one woman Muhammad. He slept with her because she was doing a charity. Go ahead. Listen. If, you if listen, was, Abdul. You don't, you don't, you don't tell a Christian prince, listen, Abdul. you tell me, you did me the answer. You, say, you said he was doing it as a charity. I am asking you, please, can you name for me the women who he married as a charity? Please. He married Safia. Safia is not a charity. He killed her husband. It is because the Jews wanted to fight with him. He never, they never fought him. You are a liar. And even if, if, if the Jews, even, they, even if the they, Jews, you just said it's a charity. He enslaved her and he have sex with her and he raped her after two hours from because, killing her family. Because, so where is the charity? Because, listen, listen. Dead, so no. do you consider? Are you saying if I go and kill you and then I rape your wife, this is a charity? No. So why you say this is charity? You mentioned Safiya. Safiya is a Jewish woman. She is not a Muslim. She don't. She did not come willingly. She did not accept Muhammad to marry her. He did not ask for her hand. And she said, okay, I marry him. She was already but, married. The prophet, he killed her husband. He killed her father. He killed her brother. He killed her tribe. And then he raped he, her. Where is the charity? Where is the charity? Where is that he killed her? He killed him. Okay, if I show you the hadith, are you going to say this is fabricated? <laughs> no, I'm not going to say that it is fabricated. <laughs> okay. If you, okay, if I show it to you, are you willing to say Muhammad is evil man? <laughs> Muhammad is? He's an evil man. Show it to you. No, why shall I say that? What do you mean? So you, you have no problem if I kill a, a, a husband maybe, and, and the family of maybe, a woman and rape her? Maybe we are not able to understand it. So maybe some no things may be different. Context might be different. You see? And the what do you mean I don't understand? What do you mean? You, you are the one who said to me that he did marry Sophia as a charity. Context hmm. might be different. Right? So this is what... Yeah. So if I, if I kill a woman... Hmm. Sorry, if I kill a man... And here, and uh, uh, and I kill all the family of this woman, her her husband, her father, her brother, her etc. And then I take this woman and I force her to sleep with me. Is that a charity? Yes or no? No. If she comes by her <laughs> choice, then it is not bad. If you are forcing, then it is bad. She came by her choice. What? Say again. What? She came. See, if you if you suppose you are fighting with an enemy. You kill the enemy, and if the daughter of the enemy wants to marry you, then it is okay. So okay, you know what? Yeah. I want to. I want to ask you. I want to. I want to ask you a question. Did Muhammad did uh, did he have sex with Safiya because she liked him to have sex with her? Yes. Where it says that? Because Prophet Muhammad was very attractive. 
Ah, so, he was like very handsome, like Zachary Naik. Don't compare with Zachary Naik. Why? Is Zachary Naik, Naik okay? Naik what do you mean? He's a human. He's a human. But you are just saying, human. so you are saying a woman like just killed her husband, huh? She is going to like to sleep with me. You are saying because you are saying that. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the chosen messenger of Allah. So if he's a chosen They're messenger, he killed the husband and he raped the women. We, see, they were already non-Muslims. Even if she kill or not kill, they will go to hell. So what is the difference? Even ah, if they, are they will go to hell. So let us have sex with them, right? I mean, you are doing charity here. Uh, when the prophet he put his penis inside her vagina, that is a holiness. Like don't say like that. Talk properly. Why I don't say like that? Why your pro it says that in the front of me? I, I'm explaining you. My my friend, your prophet. Okay, let me ask you. Let me ask you. If I say the word penis, is that is that bad? Suppose. If I say the word penis, listen, listen. If I say the word penis, is that bad? No, but don't say it with respect to Prophet Muhammad. Well, well, how Muhammad then he used the word penis then? Why the Quran? Why the Quran use the word vagina? If it's bad, Wait, it does not use it. Okay, let me ask you, what the word farjah mean? I don't know. Okay, it says that Mary who guarded her vagina in the Quran. Correct or no? What kind of God he says that? Mary, the one who guarded her vagina. Chapter 21, verse number 91. Again, the Quran repeats the same thing. Chapter 66, verse number 12. And Mary, the daughter of Umran, the one who guarded her vagina. Why you Muslims are hypocrites? So you can say the word penis. You can say your prophet, he said that if a man is proud about his parents, say to him, go and bite the penis of your father. Did I say to you, go and bite the penis of your father? No, I did not. Do you accept Muhammad to say, do you accept your Muhammad? Do you think it's a proper to say to a man or to a person, go and bite the penis of your father? No. So why your prophet is saying that? Is that because he have a, he's a noble man, he say that? Do you think a guy with good, good ethic, he would say such a thing to other man? No. So why he said that? You just admitted that Muhammad is not a person with good ethic. But everybody loves him in the Islamic world. Well, who he loved him? He forced them. He, if, if they loved him, why they why why he he have to kill people in order to force them to convert to Islam? I, I tell you, see, you make fun of Jesus Christ. I don't make you fun make of Jesus Christ. No, I do not I do not make fun in of your what, in what do you mean I make fun of Jesus Christ? What do you mean? It's your prophet who make fun of Jesus Christ. You want me to show you? See, in your Western countries, you make fun of Jesus Christ. See, in, Abdul, in Pakistan, Abdul, don't say stupid things. Say don't, anything against don't say stupid prophet. things. Don't, sti don't, don't say stupid things. We believe in a freedom. If somebody, he want to make fun of Jesus, we will not kill him. Because if Jesus is God, he can punish him himself. You Muslims, obviously, you don't believe in Allah. You don't believe in Muhammad. You don't believe in anything. So you want to kill the person who insult Muhammad or insult Allah because Allah is not there. Because Allah is false. If Allah is a true God, what about him? He punished those who insult him. If Allah is not true God, then why is Islam the fastest growing religion? Islam is the fastest dying religion. They are lying to you. What are you talking about? My friend, let me tell you, let me tell you something you do not know. Yeah, many people are Africa, my friend, Africa, not long time ago, used to be have a major number of Muslims. Africa today, the Muslims are not even 7%. What are you talking about? Christianity is spreading like fire everywhere in Islamic countries. I am an Arab, me myself. What are you talking about? Islam is dead, my friend. Where is the Muslims? Even at Jazeera TV said 16,000 Muslims leaving Islam a day, not a year. 666, which is an amazing number, leaving I... Islam an hour. This is at Jazeera TV. So don't tell me it's fastest, it's fastest dead. And even your prophet, he said, Islam is taught as a strange religion will end as a strange religion. Are you saying Muhammad is a liar? Don't ask this way. You, you are you saying you, are you don't. saying Muhammad is a liar? Because your prophet said that Islam will die. The God who speak about the clitoris, the prophet who speak about the clitoris, he said that Islam is a dead religion. So why you are okay. lying to us and saying Islam is the fastest growing? Because if this is true, it's mean Muhammad is a false prophet again.
Leave this, leave this, leave this. Leave Why this. I want to leave this? Why I want to leave this? Why you keep changing the topic like a monkey? You, you jump, you jump from a branch to branch. Each time you say something, I got you busted. You move to a different thing. Can you take a topic and tell me something to prove to us that Allah is a true God? You know what? We will go back from zero. Let us go back from zero. Can you can you mention to me? Can you mention to me? Hold on, Abdul. Can you mention to me? Can you mention to me one proof? Some mm -hmm. something solid, something strong. I don't want you to, I don't want to force you to speak about anything, any topic. You choose a topic, you choose something really very powerful, and we go from there. What how you can prove to me that Allah is God? Because the predictions of Qurans are coming true. For example, like what? Yeah. For example, hmm. in the Quran it says that the Muslims and the Jew, uh, sorry, the Jews and the Christians are your enemies, and I can we can see today that Christians and Jews are trying to attack us. Let me so, show you. Let me show you that the Quran is a stupid book, my friend, because the Quran did not say the Christian <laughs> and the Jews. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me show you that you are an idiot, like your prophet. You do not know what you are talking about. The Quran itself. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I love it. You just repeat what you said. Hold, what you were saying, hold on. Quran, hold hold, hold on. The Quran says the most the close people to you, not the enemy, are those who call themselves Christians. You just say the Quran prove itself because the Christian and the Jews are both are our enemies, and the Quran proved that they are our enemy. But the Quran confirmed that the most close people to the Muslims are those, and the nicer one is those who they are. Nasara, so why you are lying? Why you are lying and why you are accusing your prophet? Why you are accusing your prophet to be a false prophet? You just admitted that your prophet is a false man because you are the one who said, not me, that the Quran. Okay, is, good it, night, good night. Came, good night no, no, not good night, not good night, Abdul. Let me, let me, let me make you red before you go. Don't run. Shame on you. Shame on you. The Quran confirmed the following. Read really carefully. Chapter ready. 5, I'm chapter I'm 5. Ready. You say everybody heard you. Everybody heard you saying it came to be true, brother. Prophecy in the Quran came to be true. What is the prophecy you said? The Christian and the Jews they became our enemy, but the Quran confirmed the opposite. Chapter five, verse number eighty-two. It says that the most close people to you are those who they are Christians, and the most enemy to you is those who call themselves Jews. So why you are lying? It's night time. It's time to. It's sleep. night time, brother. It's night time, brother. And if I don't go to the bed right now, Khadija, she is going to spank me. Will I just spank you? I just got you busted. You said the Quran says that the enemy of the Muslims, and I agree, the Muslim says the Quran says that the most enemy to the Muslims it is the Jews and the Christians. But in different verses, says the most nice people to the Muslims are those who are Christians. So shut up and go. Your Quran is a stupid book. This is a contradiction. Either we are the most enemy to Islam, Christians and Jews, or we are not. He just admitted that the Quran says a prophecy that the Christians and the Jews are your enemy, brother. My friend, just to show you how stupid you are, when you say everybody is your enemy, they will be your enemy forever because you are the one who consider us our enemy. We as a Christian, we don't consider you as an enemy. And this again proves Islam to be a false religion. If you go to any church, you will see the Christians proving themselves that Islam is false because they pray for Muslims. They pray for the Hindus. They pray for the atheists. They pray for everybody. So again, Islam is lying when he says Islam is saying the truth, but the Christians are your enemy who hate you. We don't hate you. You will not find a single Christian church Praying for the death of Muslims. Quran is the book of the devil. Don't upload the debate of this video. Abdul, you call me and you have no right to say so. This is why you called me. This is live broadcast and you know that. So why you call me if you don't want this to be live? You are a potato. You are ashamed of yourself. Call Zakir Naik. Call your scholars and let them call me. Quran is the most stupid, ignorant book. And when I say I challenge any Muslim to open any topic he wish, and you will be sorry. I mean it.